Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Khalid Al-Bishi and I am Iris Virus Therapist. Today I will show you how to set up the non invasive ventilation and the machine we have here is Philips P60. It will give us CPAP and BiPAP. So first, you have to prepare your equipment. You will bring your machine and you will bring also the interface. You will use it with your patient and this is what we call the interface. There are three types, one for the nose, Number two, nose and the mouth. Number three, full face mask. So now we bring the machine. We bring the interface, we will use it. The third thing we, we will bring it, or we have to provide it, is our pipe bath circuit, as we see right now. So now everything is ready for connecting. I will start first with my machine. So I will connect my oxygen. I will connect my oxygen line and two, I will connect also my electricity. Number three, I will take now my bypass circuit. I will start connected also. So we we'll go here. We have two line. One. And this is the second line. Two. The third point you will do it is your interface. You will connect the circuit, the pipe circuit, with your interface in this part, as we see. So now we are ready to set our setting in our machine. We will switch on our machine from the side in the screen. So after you start your machine, you will go number one to the menu then you will go to the mask and board you will choose the number of the mask you use it i will show you to you to you right now as we see right now here in our mask you will found number one i hope that you are see it exactly it will be either in the plastic bag or in the face mask itself or the interface you'll find the number number one it's there so so now I will choose number one on the mask okay accept then you will choose the type of exhalation you are using and the one we are using it right now here is this this one and it will be in the same picture also in the corner so I will accept. Now I'm ready right now to set up my setting. So I will go to mood. Then we will start first with CBAP. Your doctor asks you to put your patient in a CBAP mode. You will go to CBAP. First, you will put your CBAP you want it. I will make the picture a little bit more uh, near so you can see the numbers. Like this, yeah, this is good. So we'll go again, CBAB, you will set the number you want it, like for me today we'll start with 7, and the other thing or the next set here is the RAM time. Are you want to start your CBAB directly or you want it to go up, up, up gradually? So for me I want it after 5 minutes, so that my CBAB now is 7, but the RAM time, it will let my CBAB start gradually, like two, three, four, five, with five minutes. Then the C flex, if your patient is acute, acute patient, and you just want to start your CBAB with him, you will keep it off, okay? If your patient is chronic, you are handling a chronic patient, like uh, with a sleep obstructive apnea, the C flex, the point of C flex is to let him a little bit more comfortable with the CBAP. How it work? When the patient is exhale, the CBAP pressure, it will go a little bit down. So it will let him exhale with no يعني, hard time. But if you're handling an acute patient, you will just keep it off. And the, other, and the last thing is the percentage of oxygen you want it. And we always يعني, want to keep our saturation more than 92. So you will ask your doctor, what is your saturation 
for your patient and you will decide and you will move up or down your percentage of oxygen after that you will activate CPAP mode so now you already on CPAP mode I will just let it back in the upside you will found your rate your tidal volume your minute ventilation your PIB the monitoring of the patient and this is how we set the CBAP mode now your patient they want him in BIBAP so you will go to choose again mode then you will go to ST which is spontaneous time and you will start set your mode so I will also make it a little bit near so you can see the picture first your IBAP which is inspiratory positive airway pressure I will start it with 12 your EBAP which is end expiratory or expiratory positive airway pressure and it's mainly for oxygenation so I will keep it 6 then you will go to the rate it's depend on the range you are dealing with if you are dealing with the adult you will start with 12 up to 20 and it's working as a backup rate if you are in the pediatric you will keep it from the range of 16 to 20 or 25 so it's depend on the category of patient you are dealing with for me I will keep it 15 then the inspiratory time for pediatric is from 0.6 to 0.8 and for adult is from 0.8 to 1.2 for me I'm dealing today with adult or pediatric so let's say I'm dealing with adult I will keep it 1.0 then the rise time the rise time it's better to keep it 3 because from EBAP to IBAP how you want to start you want to push the air so fast or you want it to go a little bit yani, friendly with the patient so for me number three is good as starting with the patient then the last thing here is off and this is the ramp time as we say you want to you start your setting the IBAP and EBAP just directly when you put it on the patient or you want to set your setting put the mask on the patient and your sitting it will go automatically gradually up so for me I will after 10 minutes your percentage of oxygen I want it uh, 40 accept so now you are ready to connect it on the patient so we will press activate ST mode now we are ready on BIBAB mode and the mode we choose it here is spontaneous time cycle what doesn't mean it's mean the rate here is backup rate and the patient he is the one who decide the length of inspiratory time but when the patient is apnea the patient he didn't uh, take any breath he's in apnea now your respiratory rate it will work with the set I time you already set so this is in general and in basic thing how you set up your CPAP and how you set up also your PIBAP but one before we close you will go to the alarm setting and you will set the high rate and the low rate the high tidal volume and the low tidal volume the high tidal volume you will set it depend on your volume you need for your patient like from 6 to 8 mil per kg if you are dealing with the adult you will take the ideal body weight you, more, you will multiply it by 6 then you will multiply it by 8 and you will set your low and high sorry your high and low tidal volume the high inspiratory pressure the low inspiratory pressure and your minute ventilation and low LBT also so after we setting everything you are okay to see your setting you will see your monitoring here and this is your setting here and you are ready to connect it into your patient but here I put it in a test line just to show you but you will put here the interface and you will connect it to the patient let's, let's say right now that you connect already your uh, interface and into your patient and suddenly there is a shutdown in the electricity or your machine suddenly it's shut down okay there will be a safe, safety valve you see it right now here the black line, the black one it's closed when the machine is working but let's say that your machine is shut down suddenly let's see what will happen to the safety valve this one
okay I will shut down my ventilator you see it's coming open that means the patient now he can breathe through this opening he can take inspiration and he can remove the CO2 through this valve or through this opening or he can even remove the mask but the the reason from this part that you have to make sure that your mask is have a safety valve so if something happened the machine shut down or there is no electricity your patient he will be safe and he can breathe even through this opening or he can pre remove the interface if he is able to remove it so this is how we set up CBAP, BiBAP, our alarm, our setting and before we close this video the troubleshooting the most most common problem or the most common issue with the BiBAP is the leak so you will make sure that around the face of your patient there is no leak and it's not very tight so you will not cause harm for your patient and now you are ready to work with CBAP and BiBAP also Thank you so much.